Uh, yeah, um, probably one of the craziest comebacks I've ever been a part of. Um, I was just excited as a fan, honestly. But, um, yeah. you know, it was a good series. Game two, I think, was a game that a yep. couple shots fall. We might be not talking right now. But right. Right. it is what it is. Um, it's a good run, man. A couple guys are banged up. You know what I mean? And, um, you Chris know, was really Chris, banged Chris up. was sick, man. And um, credit to him. Uh, he he he, he fought through. He fought. Yeah. I mean, he was. I mean, he was. He was sick. I mean, he, he was really probably sick. He couldn't yeah, talk. Less, couldn't so. couldn't talk. You yeah. know, face was swollen, man. So, uh, yeah. gotta respect that. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, mm-hmm. so, hopefully, he's getting some rest and uh, he'll be fine. John, when you, I know it's immediate, but when you look back at this year, <laughs> what did you guys learn? What do you guys have to work on as a group going forward? Um, I think uh, when things get rough, a little more cohesiveness would be good for our team and I think you know we we drop a game we kind of falter a little bit and we should probably come together and in the playoffs you're going to drop a game so you got to kind of stay the course um, and other than that man I think it was a great year I think everybody played well played up to their level everybody helped at some point in the season you know from game 10 to game 40 somebody you know everybody had their impact at their times and uh, that's how that's how it is with good teams so when you look at this group and, and taking what we see out of it, and when you look at yourselves as a whole, do you guys feel like you're on the cusp of something? Yeah, we are, man. I think now it's about, you know, retaining free agents and, and guys that are, you know, like Tony, um, mm-hmm. even with Moose, you know, having an you know, opportunity to opt out, you know, retaining guys like that and building. Um, and um, I think that's how you become a, a team that doesn't regress next year by keeping some of the same pieces together. Individually, what did you think of your season? Uh, ups and downs, man. Um, you know, we went on a five-game losing streak, and then uh, you know, coach decided to say he's gonna switch some things up, and it's kind of up and down for me ever since. Um, but it was a good year, man. We won. Um, had my opportunities early on to help the team, you know. And later in the season, I had a stretch before I hurt my thumb that I was playing well. So can't be mad. Would have wanted to play more in the playoffs, but you know, as a competitor, I think everybody wants to play. Only five guys can, so um, you know, that's just part of it. That Portland game—that's the one I always think with you, John, because you played so well in that yeah. game, and then you to be hurt in that game. Yeah, well. I mean, I was catching the rhythm, man, and uh, I mean, I was just starting to figure it out. And uh, unfortunately, I had to sit out for a little bit, and um, yeah. you know, Thon started playing well. Um, Moose was being Moose, and um, yeah. it kind of fell out of the rotation. But um, it's part of the NBA. Um, just got to work hard this summer and uh, come back and see, let the chips fall with me. What do you think of Thon? Uh, you know, maybe, maybe a lot. Even the coaches maybe didn't know he was going to be able to play as much as. Yeah, he uh, I think he played well considering the circumstances, man. Um, yeah. You know, young kid out there starting the playoffs. I told him last night in the shower, man. Like, hey, I don't think there's too many rookies starting the playoffs in a six C team. Right. Just not how it works. <laughs> right. So. Uh, you know, he's got something to look, look at and be happy about. He's, got, he's a hard worker, so I don't think I think he's going to come back better than ever, stronger than ever. Um, and, you know, I, I said with Giannis, it's going to be scary to see what he's going to look like in three or four years, and I think he's the same way. Yeah. How hard have these last two seasons been for you getting caught up in this kind of like three center mix up? But it seems like it would be difficult for me. Yeah, it is, man. But it's part of being a professional, part of staying ready. Um, you know, I pride myself in staying ready. I think past five years um, you know I've I've been in and out of situations and I've always came and performed on the court when I had the opportunity and um, so I'm still here so uh, hopefully uh, next year a little more consistency with uh, my health and then um, playing and it'll be fine John do you, how close do you think you guys are to getting that playoff series win. This was pretty darn close. Yeah, like I said, we were a couple shots falling from this series really being like you mentioned game, game seven and you know, game seven anything can happen. Yeah. Um, yeah. You yeah. know, the Marrows could go over twenty and we were about thirty. You never know. <laughs> you know what I mean? So um, yeah. we're getting close. Um, I think it's on the only field I hunger next year, but you know, you win your first playoff series by getting higher seeds. So yeah. That's kind of what we want to do. That's what you got to shoot for, right? Mm-hmm. Be yeah. in that top four. Top four home court advantage. And then that's when the expectations come on you to win. And, um, yeah. you know, you get home court first. So if you can get a couple home court wins, the pressure's on them. And, and yeah. you have it. Yeah. First round wins. You've yeah. been a part of playoff teams here that have had high expectations yeah. next year. <laughs> didn't work. What's different about this? Um, 
I think the the longevity of what we have right now. My first year, we, knew we had like seven or eight free agents, so we knew that wasn't going to be the same team. Second year, we had a new coach, more free agents. So you know, my third year, you know, JK coming in, um, you know, we knew there was going to be some stability. He's been here. We've had the same kind of group of core guys, and this is what happens. You know, the next step is to um, improve on what this did. You know, not have a letdown like we did the year before, and um, keep it going. How important is it, like, to keep that same coaching staff and that the, the players know Coach Kent's going to be here? Yeah, I mean, um, that, that's that's one of the things that keeps the longevity of a team winning. Uh, you know, we know the system now, so a um, mm-hmm. coaching staff is uh, definitely something you want to keep in place. Um, they did fairly well this year yeah. by getting us to the sixth seed, considering the circumstances of Jabari. So, um, but at some point, as a team and coaching staff, we got to take the next step, or uh, mm-hmm. we all gonna be gone. So, um, right. you know, you don't want to be that team that trades all the guys and fires the staff for being a fifth seed for four years. For so you know what long. I mean, and not winning. Right. So, right. you don't want to be that. How about Jabari? What do, you, what, do you, what do you think for next year for Jabari? Even if he can play hard in the uh, I think he's gonna get healthy, man. Um, I think he's an all-star level player. Yeah, great kid. Um, going to be fine wherever he's at, whether it's here, or there. I mean, he's 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 that type of player. So um, I think if we add him into what we do now with Chris and Giannis, it could be scary. Um, and hopefully we can all get them on the court sometime next year yeah. and see what happens. Where would you put your expectations for next year? Is it top four? Yeah, I mean, that was our goal this year. Fell, what, three, get four games short. Um, so not bad, but... You know, our goal would be a top four seed, home court advantage, man. That's that's kind of the goal, especially being this year where we had. The, you know, also I think as a goal as a team is to keep the guys that we have here, and so hopefully, um, you know, some guys stay, and some guys opt in or sign new deals with us. You know, so uh, we'll see. Not up to me. I'll be here. What's your summer plans? Uh, I'm going to Florida, yeah. fish. Fish, some fishing in your Florida future. Fish, gonna work out. Um, same routine. I'll be up here. I think um, since we kind of have the same kind of group of guys now, right. we're gonna set some workouts up together. You know, here. You know, I mean, maybe wherever somebody's at. So, yeah. hopefully, Giannis, you know, invites me to Greece. I'm trying to go out there. So. <laughs> yeah, should we get need, you a little I just trip over this, there? I just, I just need this blessing, and then <laughs> just to let everybody. Yeah, just let everybody know I'm coming. You know, I don't know if you want to announce it on the news. <laughs> So I can then you kinda, get the royal treatment. Yeah, so I can kind of hang out there and just kind of, you know, be cool. So. <laughs> Sounds good. Yeah. All right. Thank, thank you. Thank you. you guys have a great